Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Monday the 8th of May. Okay, so um, Macron uh, defeated Le Pen in the French uh, presidential election. Apparently it turned out that the turnout was the lowest since 1969. So uh, there were obviously quite a few dissenters away from both part, uh, candidates. However, obviously Macron uh, won the day. Uh, so what we saw, we saw a massive 15 pip gap, uh, a pullback so far uh, towards the and um, touching the weekly pivot there, which um, well maybe there may be some continued relief uh, movement uh, this morning. We'll see how it runs, but uh, I mean it's sell on the news is so often that happens. It's tempted to trade it last night, but uh, there's always a great unknown. And we oh, personally, I just left the left the move alone. Um, However, through this morning session, we'll have a look at how, how it moves from here. At the moment, it's already caught the daily pivot S1. It's caught quite a bit of range uh, through that uh, Asian session uh, move. Uh, but as I say, I'll, I'll tra trade it out. There may, and there may be still some positivity being seen from this. A relief, uh, more, more so than anything else, I think, for, for many. Um, which could see it push back up towards the uh, yesterday's highs and maybe beyond. We'll see how we run. My feelings are, though, it may still run lower uh, at some point, and uh, I'll probably be trading with that in mind. Okay, looking at cable. Cable's had a decent move up. It's diverging on its daily basis. It's uh, strong, though, on most um, time frames. Um, well, most training time frames it's looking re relatively strong um it's not quite diverging actually on the four alley here uh, but it is looking like it's uh, actually pushing up quite well at the moment uh, we've already hit the daily pivot um could see what happens post eight o'clock but the r1 at the moment looks like uh, it's it could be favorite any sell-off reversals well i'd be looking for that weekly pivot to be hit at some point, uh, if it's a, a decent reversal, maybe back through the 60-21s to be on the safer side and be looking for the 50, the uh, weekly pivot. At the moment, as I say, it looks erring on that bullish side still. Looking at the uh, dollar yen, dollar yen, well, bit of two, two uh, indecision type days last week. Well, what's going to happen? We've got the weekly pivot again below us, which uh, could could be targeted towards. We've not had a decent correction to the downside at all yet on the uh, dollar yen. There's the potential for a bit more of a correction back to that weekly pivot. Again, it may be just watching how this uh, morning uh, runs out. At the moment, we've got this sort of wedge pattern that's sort of sitting there on the hourlies. Pretty much sums things up. Again, it gapped up, closed the gap, and it's been sitting there pretty consolidated ever since, waiting to see what the traders would do. As I said, the weekly pivot's below. In fact, the daily pivot's below as well, which makes it a, a reasonable opportunity if it starts breaking the 60.21. Or if we see other reversal signals come in, it may be uh, a possibility for the downside there. Um, let's look at the Aussie dollar. Aussie dollar consolidated last uh, couple of days last week, never really made too much in the way of retracement here, never sold off massively either, uh, got the potential of a weekly pivot that's above at the moment, we could see a bit more correction, there was some divergence on the four alleys. Uh, running into late last week there uh, and, and a bit of a correction that sold off but uh, it's still got the potential of uh, maybe a, a push up towards that weekly pivot at some point uh, at the moment though again consolidation just sort of looking at its price action here would almost be more tempted to be selling on the break of the trend line here back down towards the s1 and the prior lows than uh, the upside at the moment though although um, as i say there is the untouched weekly pivot there not looking uh, spectacularly strong at the moment okay and finally let's have a look at the canadian dollar uh, oils uh, just dropped off a little bit a moment ago um canadian dollar well it's uh coughing along here it's uh got the potential it's got a weekly and daily pivot sitting above us at the moment it's just having a bit of a uh, a pull back at the moment, but uh, again, we could see these sort of moves back towards these uh, l these levels. Uh, just uh, 
could wait post eight o'clock again and see how things go. The Canadian dollar can be a bit choppy through the Asian session, oh, through London session morning. So I'd be more likely to watch this a little bit. But if the opportunity arises, um, I would be looking to play for that daily pivot, weekly pivot at some point. So um, all in all, um, there, there looks like it could be some reasonable moves. Of course, we had non-farms on Friday, Monday, following Fridays are often on that basis. can be a bit range-bound and quiet. We've obviously got some relief news uh, in terms of the French elections, but uh, we'll see how things play out this morning. Have a great day. Bye for now.